Hello and welcome to Get the Body and Fitness You Want on YouTube or Instagram. And what I want to talk to you today about is about wellness under a crisis. So what I mean by that is, is if you're a healthcare professional like myself, you're a trainer, you're a doctor, you're a physio, you're an osteopath, and you're in one of these fields where you've got to help other people get over their health concerns, then your health needs to be number one. And what you need to make sure of is that you know, you're know you keeping your health to its optimum level so you can help others to do the same thing. But what can happen to healthcare professionals is that we can get sick, we can get bugs in our body that can cause problems. So when you have these bugs in the system, the first thing you must do is either go and see your doctor or go and see another practitioner that has more knowledge than you to help you get over this bug that you may have. Then when you've got this bug, then you need to do everything in your power in which to, in which to get rid of it. Don't ignore it and don't keep going to see clients if you're not feeling well. So I believe in the rule of uh, if you're not feeling 100%, then you can't give 100% to your clients and they're obviously paying you a lot of money for you to help them reach their peak in their health and well-being. Now this year has been a funny year for me, it's been quite a, a testing year but a fantastic year at the same time. Uh, so my health is improving constantly but I've got a bug in the system that I'm trying to get rid of which I've tried for four months to get rid of and I've not been able to get rid of it so then I've decided to go down the antibiotic route in which to get rid of it. So I'll be doing day one today of the antibiotics in which to get rid of the problem. Now I don't necessarily agree with antibiotics but if you've tried as many different things as I have in which to get rid of the issue and it's not going then you need to go down the next route of seeing the, the doctor or the naturopath or somebody like that to help you get over the complaint that you're suffering with okay so I believe that if you're not well you can't really give good health to other people and the other thing is is that if you're not well yourself and you're trying to help people get healthy they will tap into your energy field and trash your energy field so you will feel progressively less healthier over time so it's really really important that you uh, make sure that your health is optimum. So I've got some top tips for that. So top tip number one is to make sure you get your eight hours sleep a night. Top tip number two is to make sure that you drink your body weight in ounces of water a day. Top tip number three is to make sure that you doze in the daytime. Make sure you have a little cat, a cat nap or a little uh, daydream or something like that to relax your brain. Top tip number four is to make sure that you're eating regular, regular intervals and don't miss your food times. Top tip number five is to make sure that you drink lots of water. Top tip number six is to make sure that you don't overbook yourself. Top tip number seven is keep a diary of how you're feeling and what these complaints are, are causing. Top tip number seven is to make sure that you tell your clients what you're going through so they understand if you need to cancel or you need to change those time slots. Top tip number eight, nine sorry, is to make sure that you, you know, reward your clients and explain to your clients what's going on. Reward your clients so then that way you don't lose that client because you just not interacting with that client to let them know exactly what's going on for you. So uh, this bug that I've got, it's, it's affecting everything. So I'm hoping that the, uh, pro the antibiotic with probiotics will help eradicate it out of the body and I'll be fighting fit in seven days. Uh, so I think it's really important that when your wellness is under attack as a wellness coach or check practitioner, personal trainer, physiotherapist, doctor, dentist, whatever field that you're in, that you listen to them signs and signals. Like I've had clients come to see me when they've got flu and I've had to send them home because I know if they've got the flu and I may be feeling weak that day or my immune system is low, there may be a chance of me getting that flu. 
So as the healthcare professional, you need to be strong with your clients and say, look, you know, you need to go home and rest and relax in which in which to get healthy again and then come back to your session when you're feeling in peak health. The same with as the health practitioner, you need to make sure that you rest, you relax, you do all them nine things that I said in which to get your health back on top. Don't be a hero. Don't keep going to see clients uh, when you're not feeding 100%. You need to cancel. You need to, you know, make sure you get to the root cause of the problem and get rid of the problem. So then once you've got rid of the problem, you can go back and feel back on top and back at, at 100%, giving your client everything that they've paid you for. So if you're somebody out there that's suffering with a health complaint and you're a health practitioner and you're looking for some help and some advice, please uh, comment at the bottom. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel there or subscribe, subscribe. Uh, I would be highly appreciative of that. And uh, let me know your story. You know, my story is that you've just heard that I've uh, got this bug that I'm trying to get rid of. I've tried the natural way for four months. It hasn't worked in the way that I've liked it to. So now I'm going down the route of taking antibiotics. The other thing with antibiotics is that as long as you recolonize your gut again with uh, healthy bacteria, with probiotics, and keep your diet really good, there's no reason why the, pro, the antibiotics should do too much damage. And obviously, when you're on uh, probiotic uh, antibiotics, sorry, you need to make sure that you're, you know, taking stuff to keep the gut strong. But you need to look at the medi, the ingredients of the antibiotic to make sure that it's not going to react with what you're taking at the time of taking it. So don't just look at stuff on YouTube and take anything or Facebook or whatever with your antibiotic uh, because it may cause a reaction so be very very aware of that and very very careful of that okay so as i said before if you're looking for help uh, you can go to my website which is active bright systems there's a lovely ebook that you can download there's some free gifts in the ebook so i urge you to go and download the ebook if you're looking for help and you are a practitioner and you want to get back to work but you just don't know how to go about it then please get in contact with, with, with me through my website and then we can uh, have a chat about how we can take your wellness to the next level. So just because you're a practitioner and you've come down with a bug, don't be ashamed of that. That just shows that you're human and that you're normal. None of us are perfect, you know. We all get bugs occasionally. You know, I live in London, so, you know, travelling on public transport can be really you know stressful for one but two everyone's there might be 10 people with a bug on there and the chance of you catching it is quite high so immune system health is is number one so if you're trying to juggle appointments and you're not 100 percent, and you're you know working long hours and you've got money stress relationship stress and you've got the stress of the illness in the body it's time to take time out so that's what I'm doing. I'm taking two weeks out to get better, to get back to normal and to get back on top. And it's a great learning uh, phase that I'm going through of how to listen to myself even more, you know, and cut down my diary and to make sure that I have more, more time for the people that are paying for my time for me to help them. So I hope this video was insightful for you and gives you... Uh, some encouragement to get your wellness back or encouragement to uh, cancel clients and work on your own wellness before you try and give it to others because you can't give what you haven't got as far as I'm concerned uh, a very famous man said that so uh, I look forward to chatting to you or interacting with you please comment at the bottom please subscribe or subscribe uh, and I look forward to chatting to you again soon. Thank you very much. I'm Scott Bryant. Bye-bye.